Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Before we begin, let us pray. Heavenly Father, once again, we gather together uh, with you and for each person that is hearing these words. I pray, Lord, that we would uh, learn from you, that you would teach us by your Holy Spirit those things that you want us to know in your Word the ways and attitudes and and the way that we should behave in this world. Lord, all of those things that are so good about you and your way uh, and your son, Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Jonah Pouting Outside of Nineveh. It's taken from Jonah chapter 4, verse 5. When the Lord spared Nineveh of the judgment, Jonah pronounced upon them. Jonah was displeased and longed for God to take his life from him. Jonah knew God is merciful and gracious, and he wondered whether the Lord would spare the people of Nineveh if they humbled themselves and repented of their ways. The Lord asked Jonah if he did well being angry. And in chapter 4 and verse 5 of this prophecy, we see Jonah go outside of the city pouting and watching to see what would happen to Nineveh. We read, So Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city, and there made him a booth and sat under it in the shadow that he might see what would become of the city. The verse begins, So Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city, and there made him a booth. The author began with the words, so Jonah went out, or Jonah's name means dove, departed and proceeded forward out of the city, uh, which refers to the town in the guarded place of waking, which is Nineveh. And he sat, or he dwelt, he remained, and he abode on the east side, which refers to the front, before, aforetime, and ancient or beginning of the city, which means the town or the guarded place of waking, which was Nineveh. And there made, or he fashioned, accomplished, and produced uh, himself a booth, which means a thicket, a pavilion, a covering, or rude and temporary shelter. After the Lord asked him whether he did well to be furious, Jonah traveled to the outside, or the beginning of the city, made himself a shelter, and settled in there. The verse goes on to say, And sat under it in the shadow that he might see what would become of the city. The author continued and sat under it in the shadow, which means remain, dwelt, and abode beneath the shade, protection, and transitoriousness of the shelter, that he might see, which means to look at, inspect, perceive, and consider what would become of the city, which is all one Hebrew word, ear which refers to the town and guarded place of waking known as the city of Nineveh. Jonah purposed to watch what might happen to Nineveh, even though the Lord informed him they would be spared. When we meditate upon these words, we might be able to understand Jonah's feelings. Jonah, after spending three days and nights in the great fish, finally obeyed the Lord cried out to Nineveh, yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown, saw the people, including the king, repent, and watched the Lord alter his plan to destroy them. Now he decided to pout. He left the city, built a temporary shelter so he could observe whether the Lord would change his mind and destroy them anyway. And when we we see this, we're reminded of Jesus and how he pours out his grace upon people whom we feel should be judged. And when we see him do that, do we pout? Do we watch carefully to see whether God will bring judgment upon people that have done us wrong or not? What if the people who need judgment are us? Let us imagine that we were the ones that humbled ourselves, repented, and called out upon the Lord to spare us. How would we feel then? The Lord Jesus is ready to extend his mercy to those who will call upon him. And may the Lord help and lead us to imitate him as we look toward people 
who have wronged us. Next time, we see the Lord prepare a gourd for Jonah. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.